Hello everyone and welcome to episode 102 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. I got nine questions today, so let's get started with EK Starlord. I'm going to give EK Starlord a shout out here. He's just been an absolute legend. He's been part of ASA since I started this series. Thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate you. Now let's get into his questions. He's got like five questions for today's episode and he says, ASA, are you excited for Star Wars Skeleton Crew and then a bunch of potatoes? I definitely am excited for Skeleton Crew. I know little to nothing about it though, and that's on purpose. I've been trying to avoid like spoilers and people talking about it, even just theories and stuff like that. I want to go into it blind. I have no idea what it's going to be about. Anything Star Wars, you know, just slap Star Wars on it and I almost always will at least give it a try, right? That makes sense to me. The next two questions are going to be from EK, and then I'm going to take a break, and then I'll answer his last two at the end. ASA, did you hear that the Marvel Cinematic Universe is getting a soft reboot after Secret Wars? If so, what do you think of the idea? And then some potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. I hate to say this, but I think Marvel's honestly just kind of falling flat. You know, like, it seems like ever since Endgame, and I know other people say this, Marvel has just honestly just have not been very good lately, and the CGI's been really just like half baked and just kind of ugly. I really believe that the one reason why is because they just follow the same formula every single movie. Here's the villain. They're a little bit stronger than the hero, but oh wait, no, the, the hero's stronger now and the hero wins, you know? I think the only reason why Infinity War did so amazing was because Thanos actually won. And then in the next movie, Endgame, you knew he was gonna lose, but you wanted to see how. The rest of these movies is just the same thing now. I just feel like Marvel's falling kind of flat. And another thing, and this is kind of, kind of irrelevant, but it kind of goes with it, is like, there's just so much stuff now, and it's like, wait, I don't even know what happened to this last character, and when's the next time we're gonna see them? Like, use Moon Knight as an example. When's the next time we're gonna see him? His show was fantastic. And now what? Anyways, EK's next question is, ASA, do you think Marvel Studios' Secret Invasion should have been a movie and then a bunch of potatoes? You know what? A movie probably would have been better because then it would have had a higher budget, would have had better CGI, but if the story would have been the same, then I don't think it would have mattered. The actors and actresses did a great job, but like the story was just kind of dull and the CGI was just kind of bad. So I don't really know if they did a better story, but if they did a better story, and had better CGI, then the show would have worked, right? So I don't really know. I just wanted a better story and a, and better CGI. Next question is from Scott Daves. ASA, you're in need of a bounty hunter. Which one from the group we see in Empire Strike Back would you hire? And then a bunch of potatoes. I'm a hire potato man. I, I, I wish Potato Man was a bounty hunter. I'm, I'm very biased here, but I'm going to go with Boba Fett. <laughs> just because Boba Fett's my favorite bounty hunter. In the Star Wars universe, I believe at that time, he was like known as the best of the best. So he probably had the highest rates, but that's because he'll get the job done. You know, no disintegrations, but come on, that would be kind of fun. Burn, baby! Burn! Next question is from Mne. Do you plan to make a Discord and then two potatoes? Thank you for the potatoes. So I do have Discord, if that's what you mean, but I believe you mean if I plan to make a Discord server. And at the moment, I do not have any plans for that, but maybe someday. Next question is from CT Bricks. ASA, are you watching the new Ahsoka show? And if so, what is your favorite episode so far? And then a bunch of potatoes. Thank you for the potatoes. So I'm definitely watching Ahsoka. I mean, Star Wars Rebel season five and as of right now when i'm recording this video there's only been five episodes released but i'm gonna go with episode four that was just such a fantastic episode the the fight scenes were gorgeous the the space scenes were gorgeous i i can't remember what it's called the eye of I, I want to say Scion, but I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. When it like lifted up through the clouds of that plant. Oh, it was just so beautiful. Oh man, that episode. I just, I loved it. You know, it, it felt better than the other episodes. It felt like it had more care and love put into it. So I'm going to go with episode four, but maybe episode six when I'll be my favorite or seven or eight. I don't know yet, but right now, as of the time being, episode four is my favorite. Next question is from TG Collects and he says, ASA, what is the oldest set? 
set you have. The oldest LEGO sets that I have, and I'm going to say sets, is the very first four battle packs. I own all four of those. I'm actually the proud owner of one of every battle pack ever made, not to brag. I have the battle packs from 2007 and 2008, so that is pretty cool. And they're beautiful. What'll it be, fellas? Mustard or ketchup? And the last two questions are going to be from EK again. So, ASA, do you think LEGO should make more 18 plus? retail sets and then a bunch of potatoes. I mean, I don't see why they should, but I also don't see why they shouldn't. As long as Lego is making more sets, like who cares, right? I'm like 18 plus really only just is for visual, like saying, hey, this is going to be easy or hard to make. You know, if you see a set that says 18 plus, it means that like a 10 year old most likely isn't going to be able to build it. Although when I was 10, I was able to build UCS sets. They also put that as so that way they can using as an excuse to say like hey this set is a collector's item and it's just for display purposes but a lot of play sets can be displayed nicely too right i think 18 plus sets are great you know and it's fun too because then you can say you bought a a, a thing for adults and it's like oh what's that and it's like a lego set Whoa. yeah wow and the last question from EK Starlord and for this episode of ASA. ASA, are you excited for Marvel Spider-Man 2, the video game, and then a bunch of potatoes? I'm not not excited. Spider-Man's cool. The video game's cool. The second video game looks cool, but I don't have a PS5 and I'm not going to buy one anytime soon, probably ever. So I won't be able to play it. So I'm not really hyped for it, you know, because I just, yeah. So, but even if I can play it, I don't know if I'll even touch it. It's like, it's cool. Spider-Man's cool but I'm just like meh but anyways that's gonna do it for today's episode of ASA I had to make this video a little bit earlier than normal normally I record on Sundays or Mondays before the Wednesday that the video comes out but today I'm actually recording the video on a Thursday so like basically a week early I'm doing that because I got family and stuff coming over so hopefully I didn't miss anyone's questions but if I did just ask them again in the next episode and I'll answer them then so thank you all for your support thank you for watching make sure you leave a like if you enjoyed and ask a question down below for the next episode. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!